Hi, this is Liam from Justin's Toys. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make the spinal cord bracelet. It's a pretty simple design modeled after the sailor's pinstripe. It's a reversible bracelet. And I hope you enjoy the video. For this design, you're going to need three bar pins, one big base, and two little bases. And you're going to set up the bar pins all facing the same direction. Take your big base. Put it right in the middle, like so. And then you put your little bases on the side for stability. Now, we can do this on one loom if you want to transfer at the edge to make it long enough for someone of my wrist size. But if you don't want to end up doing that, you can use two looms connected like so. And for this video, we're going to show you how to transfer the design. Now in this video, we're going to be using the colors white and black. White going across, black going, going to the sides. So I'm going to start out, as always, the arrows facing away from you, like so. I'm going to take two white bands. I'm going to put it on just like the basic throughout all three rows.
Now that we finished putting all the white bands on, at the end, we're going to take the band, take our hook, and we're going to cap the band like so. Get it. Inside your hook. Put it right in the end. Like so. have all the end cap bands on, it's time for us to place the cross bands, which are going to be black, so the whole length of our loom. Now for each rubber band, on this way we're going to have to do one across, and I'll see these pegs. For each, I'm going to use five black bands going across this way. Laid out just like so. We take our first black band, Cap it after it's capped. We put it a length of all three of the pegs. Push it down to give room for the next ones. You take your next band, cap it once again. But this time, instead of going throughout all three, you only go to the first two. Like so. Your third band, you're going to triple cap it. That means you're going to loop it around the hook, not just once, but twice. And you're going to take that and put it on the single peg on the edge. Like just like that. And now we're just going to repeat the process in the opposite formation. So we started with three, two, one, one, two, three. So we take this, put it on the same peg like so, and only bring it to the second one, pushing it down as you go along. Take our final black band, cap it, put it across all three of them. So that goes three, two, one, two, three. Now on the next one going along, we're going to do the same thing, use five black bands, but this time, instead of doing it on this side, we're going to have most of them on this side to keep the triangles going in opposite directions. So we're going to start out on every one, like we normally do, going through all three pegs. Next one, same same thing, do two pegs, but instead of being on this side, it's going to now be on this side. Take your next band, triple cap it. Twisting around once, and then twice. Taking that, putting it on the edge. Just like before, repeating the process backwards. So it's three, two, one, two, three. see they're facing completely opposite directions of each other one base is on this side the base is on this side so we're going to do that throughout the whole loom one on this side this side this side this side this side throughout our whole loom
now the easiest way to do this will just be placing the base bands at first on all three pegs and going back and place the second and third just going throughout the whole loom so I'm going to do now Now this last peg row right here, we're going to leave blank. We're going to not put any black bands on it yet. We are, how we're going to do that later on. Now that we've finished putting all the three pegged base cross bands, we're going to move it along to doing two across, changing each side as we go along. Now, we've placed all the cross bands, so it should be easy to identify which we're going to put on the single band on each different side. So for this one, like before, you triple cap it, which means twisting around, not once but twice, just like so. It can be tricky because this can easily slip out of your hand. But afterwards, of course, push it down. Give room for the next two bands that need to go on there. all the triple bands down. It'll work in backwards order of the formation. Back one, then two, and three again. Now that we're done with the twos, we move back on to the third and final of the back formation, the threes. 
cabinet, just like all the rest. You put her straight across, all three of them. Bands going up and down like so, switching off every peg. We're ready to do the stitching, and then after that, transferring. All right, now we go to the bottom here where we have our single capped bands. We're going to pick up the cap band under it. Hold the cap band down, so it will fall off the peg, and then bring the single white over. Repeat that same step with the next two. And now, in order to take our blacks, now in the same order you put them on, but backwards. So we're not starting from the bottom, we're starting from the very top, this three right here. We're taking it, and we're pulling it over, like so. Pushing it to the back. Now, of course, you take the next one in the line, the two. Now, this is the tricky one, the three, right here. It's a little tricky. You have to get on the outside of it. So we outside the whites, like so. You have to hook on to all three of the bands that make up that black, and then pull it over, just like so. Push it to the end, and you take the next one, just the two, take that, you only grab the bands that you want. Put that one over. And then, of course, last but not least, the next three. Now, it should create a small type of triangle or spike. And that's After all that's done, you move to the next one. Going inside the whites, of course, and then pulling it over, just like so. Same thing with this next one, but of course in the opposite direction. Take the three. This one should give you a little more room to work with. Pull that all the way back. Take the two. Pull it all the way. Get inside. And hook the three. Pull it over. Hook the next two. Careful not to hook the three. It can be tricky sometimes. And then, finally, of course, the three. We should create another little triangle or spike, but in the opposing direction. Now, for the whole rest of this, we're we'll going to do exactly the same until we reach here. I'm going to stop here. So then later on, on this point, we can add the blacks and then transfer easily.
now that we're done with all these little spikes or triangles or whatever you want to call them, it's time to finish the black spikes over here. I'm going to transfer it over so we can do this all over again and make a, a good size bracelet. Alright, now that we're ready to transfer, we're going to go to the end, right here, take these off. And we're going to take two lights and just place them at the end, like so. I'm not going to do anything special with them yet. I'm just going to place them at the end, just like so. I'm going to bring it over here. And we do like just like we did before with the capping and placing on. Done that final step. Bring this white over. And transfer it on. Now that the majority of this is finished, we're going to go to the end and we're going to hook these three temporarily, these three end pieces. And then we're just going to pull it off most of the loom. We still want this end over here to stay on. That, so we're going to rip off the cover here, we're going to rip it off about to here. And that we've reached here, this no longer has to be on the hook, we can take this off the hook. This is the end, this isn't going anywhere. I'm going to take this end right here. We're going to put each in our hook, just like that. Now you're ready to transfer. What you're going to do is you're going to take the one with the hook on it. In my case, all three are going to be hooked, so I'm going to start in the middle. Transfer it all the way down the edge, just like so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it directly onto the peg of those white you're supposed to put on before. This part can be a little tricky, so I'm going to use your fingers to help you out. There. Now, what you do 
next is you transfer one of your chopsticks or your pencils onto an actual hook like so and then pull this one out but I already have mine on a hook so I don't need to do that take this transfer it directly on to the peg just like so now you take third and final, which you would transfer onto the hook. Put it directly on. And that's how you start a successful transfer to finish your bracelet. Now what you do is you flip it over to this side and begin putting on your whites one by one. Now that you've reached the end, what you do is you take these whites that you put over here before, pick them up with your fingers or your hook, make sure they don't get caught on the lip back here, make sure they're on the peg, just pull it over, just like so. Same thing for this one. Just pick it up. Make sure it's on the peg. And then flip it right over. Just like so. See how it's caught on the lip? Make sure that doesn't happen. You can just pull it right over the other side so that's caught on the lip you don't want that to happen so you can just pull it over just like so now continue on Same thing with this last one. Just pull it over. There you go. We've successfully transferred the bracelet. And now we can start putting the blacks on. The blacks are just going to follow the same design as before.
Now you're back to the end and you start doing the triangle pattern, but see how this triangular spike is facing that way, since you want this one to be facing that way. So we're going to put a double cap band on this side. I'm going to start from there. Now just go back the same way before, back to two and three. Should have pushed them down, that always helps. The tightness. back to the three, all three rows.
we're done with that, we can start our looping. Just get the two. All right, now that you've finished putting all your spikes or triangles on, we're going to clip the edges. So we're going to take three C-clips and hook these edges. Now that I have my C-clips, I'm going to do is I'm going to hook each of these on with the help of my hook. So you're going to take your hook and pull it out like so. Take your C-clip and just put it right on. Make sure you grab all of them. All right, see? All the way there, we move to the next one. Just the middle. Hook it right on. Just like so. Now your last one. You take your hook like that. Put your C clip directly on. Just like so. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to take it right off the loom. Be careful. It's not breaking bands. Just 
reach the edge. Careful not to take off C clips. There we go. Now that we have the edge here, we're just going to take these and pull them out just like so. I'll settle down. We take our C clips. We hook them directly on to the other edge, making sure they match up. Maybe two. You're going to need to hook. Just stretch it out this way a little bit more, and you have your completed spinal cord bracelet. This has been Liam from Justin's Toys. Thank you for watching.